Well, we should be sailing a lot faster now. That's all of the gold into the ocean. Gillian, now we're gonna die. No, Jay, we'll be fine, because we just launched our first official merchandise. We did? That's right, and it is your destiny to go to jrwishop.com and buy the Riptide Pirate sweatshirt now. It comes in a black with green and red design and a navy with a golden one. Wait, did you just say navy? Where? And hey, it's only available for a limited time, and once they're gone, they're gone. So head over to jrwishop.com. That's jrwishop.com. And if you're a patron, don't get your fins in a twist just yet, because for our qualifying Patreon supporters, go check out the Patreon page on how to claim your free merch. So go grab the sweatshirt now and become an honorary Riptide Pirate. And if it does well, we can make a lot of cool stuff like this in the future. Arr, uh, whoa, what is this? Uh, a diamond! <coughs> I found it. I found a diamond. What do you like to trade for me diamond? Orange. An, an orange. That's a tangerine, you fool. Don't you can't fool me. I see that you can't fool me. I see that scurvy in your eyes. I see the veins in your in your neck and your arms and in your legs. I see that crust around your eyes. I see those dilated eye pupils. Get that to I the see. point, lad. You're on drugs. So no trade? No. What's up, everybody? Kill Welcome me. back to Just <laughs> He'll Roll. Kill me if I do this. What are you gonna do? Nothing. You can't throw it at me. You'll ruin. That's the, what I said. Why would he? Why would he do that? <laughs> You'll ruin everything around. You'll me. ruin everything if you do that. I'll catch it though. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> I really tried. You deleted all my notes. Okay. Anyways, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Just that. that. My name fun. is Grizzly. Yeah. I'm the DM, and these guys are on a boat that I stole. Yep. And they're not getting off. My name Bisley. I played Chip. They've recently. They've recently been feeding us. Uh, little food pellets? I'm not sure that <laughs> those are food or pellets. It's something to eat. Well, hey, I'm Condi and I play Jay. I have whiskers now, apparently. Whoa, whoa, what is up, guys? I'm Charlie Slimesicle and I play Gillian Tide Strider, Monsoon, and Moon Sun. Where we last left off, the three of you, Jay, Gillian, and Chip, the Capitans of the Riptide Pirates, found yourselves in Liquidus, the Hydropolis, the city built in and ran and powered by water, where you dropped off Ichabod to do his uh, Ichabod things and met with uh, Felipe, who led you to the Grand Temple of the Moon, where you got Chip free of his curse, and Gillian learned a bit more of the story to his prophecy that he'd been taught his entire life. And shortly after that, you all headed to the zoo. You let free the Morbius, the monkey zebra, the coconut clam, and something called the gobbler. But the only one that was getting gobbled was was Ollie, as uh, unfortunately he was left behind, accidentally uh, trapped inside of the sea bear cage, where you found him uh, almost near death, where he passed out. But thanks to Jay and Gillian crawling on all fours and taming the wild beast, you made friends with the bear and were successfully able to get free and uh, flee from the zoo. As Gillian went back to the Temple of the Moon to speak with the Grand Priestess with some questions that he had about the mural and the prophecy and the timeline, you all headed to the, the, the jet-like tube that was powered by water that shot you up into the sky where you entered the Sun City. You guys entered El Dulcio, yes! Which stands for the Sky City, but we've been calling it the Sun City. I will probably never call it El Dulce. <laughs> and you and you followed Felipe the Sinner um, <laughs> to the the Grand Temple of the Sun. And just after you left the Grand Temple to witness the, the rare phenomenon of the solar eclipse here in the sky, perfect view, climbing up on top of the temple and then falling into a rift that opens like fireworks in the sky, people get people watch like they're watching fireworks on the 4th of July, but you guys not only watched these rifts, but fell into one through a colorful RGB vortex, landing in a beautiful forest, leading you to a whimsical place here in the Feywild. And so the journey continues. Guys, Ooh. before we start, yes. I have to say, just so we don't get sued, um, 
I'll be referring to this book a lot. It's a module called The, uh, the Wild Beyond the Witchlight. I have tweaked it a little bit. All the characters in here are almost entirely named something different. That's all the tweaks I've done. Um, and we'll see what else I decided to change on the way because I didn't read this all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to discover it alongside you. You head down this path as the trees sort of start to move on their own, almost as if they're like just kind of stepping aside to let you down. And then you see in the distance this, um, uh, or as you're walking, you would notice, as I said before, the early nighttime stars that peek through the sunset hues above. And as you're running and chasing down Felipe, who's flying above, you also hear the sound of a much larger or louder buzzing that quickly approaches and then zooms past from behind, causing you to jerk your head back and you follow it and you see this large, giant dragonfly with this trailing colorful streamer behind it. And your eyes follow and you guys would see in the distance, this floral archway, as well as low mist that curls on the ground. <laughs> all backlit by this beautiful, like, like beautiful multicolored rainbow assortment of lights and a plethora of wondrous, vibrant creatures. You begin to hear laughter everywhere and you notice dancing fairies and pixie dust, as well as elves on stilts and other painted performers, all rhythmically mixed together by the sound of this carnival music played by a calliope on wheels. What if we just killed everyone? <laughs> <laughs> you approach to this very lively carnival, and on the center or on the top of the floral archway, it just says Cass's Carnival. Both spelled with a K. <laughs> Man, it sure would be a shame <laughs> if all these people met their end right here, right now. Hey, uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. What? Roll a deck save. Brad, I've been here like five minutes. Okay, deck save. Seven plus, oh, 14. You get, a, you get a four from me. How much, what'd you get? 18. You fall flat on your face. Fuck you. Uh, you fall on your knees. And you notice that your your shoes are tied together. Shoelaces are tied. Your bootlaces are tied together. Oh, Chip, you've been praying. <laughs> oh, who did this? Was it me? Kill him. Not me. <laughs> you said you're going to kill him? Yeah. I'll remember it's that. Question mark, question mark, question mark. We'll remember this. As you guys head through, I'm assuming you go through the floral archway. Yeah, can we frolic through it? Can we all hold hands and yeah. frolic and skip? Yeah. Felipe is still flying above and he goes, oh, oh, fuck, what the, what the shit is happening? We're frolicking, Felipe, join us. Come on, Felipe. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Felipe. Inhale the mist, Felipe. <laughs> you guys frolic up onto, up to what seems to be a ticket booth with a small, like, a, a, a small goblin-ass figure with like warts on his nose. And, and as you're frolicking up to him, however, walking the distance, you see he's holding a tiny little spyglass. And then as you, he's just watching you the whole time with this tiny little spyglass as you're frolicking up. And then as you get right up to the ticket booth, he goes, Meh. switches to a bigger spyglass and then points it right directly in front of your face. And it's comically large and he points right on. And he like, like switches it from all three of your faces, including Felipe. Welcome to Cass's Carnival. I put my mouth on it. <laughs> uh, tickets, please. Well, golly, sir, we don't have any tickets. Sorry, sir, we just seem to have found our way here. <laughs> oh, shoot, gang. I think we're gonna need some tickets. Jeepers, how could we come across such a thing? You can buy them here. Hey, mister, could we buy those tickets here? Yes. No shiggity shiggity shot. Sorry, what did you say? He said no shiggity shiggity shot. In other really? words, no, no, we can, we can, what? Hold you can buy them here? And then you watch him pull out this comically large earpiece. It's shaped like an ear. Puts it up in like a cone on his ear, presses it against the glass, and he goes, all right, speak to me. What's wrong, mister? Are you hard of earring? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It's a booboo. <laughs> tickets. Got tickets? Nope. No, 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 nope. <laughs> It's gonna be five US dollars. Our team is actually trying to extort us right now. <laughs> Should I get my, I'm gonna get my wallet. <laughs> one, one second. If you don't have our type of currency, there is another way to acquire the tickets. How the fuck do we do that? We do what we do best, Chip. Beat this guy up and just go in? <laughs> yeah. You don't wanna do that. I said beat this guy up and just go in. Okay, roll intimidation. Sure, I'll roll intimidation. 17. Can I have five dollars too well, while you're at it? <laughs> bad news, gang. I only have fucking English money. That's not real. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's backed by the queen. The who? I also have Costa Rican currency. Whenever you yell, Chip, what if we beat him up? He raises an eyebrow at you and then like eyes something below the desk. 
Ah. Oh my god, he's strapped. Necesitas colones? Mucho dinero! Hand it over. I am rich in several countries now. All right, that still won't be enough to get you a ticket. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Fuck. What more do you need from us, DM? You here. want my whole wallet? Would you like to enter a ticket packed? Golly gee, what is that, Mister? Wait, 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 wait. Let's think about this. We don't do that here. No, no, I'm no, in. no, Jay, Jay. Pack. You bought it for a ticket, and instead of paying in our currency. You lose something that you won't miss, and you won't know what it is until it's gone, but you'll take the ticket and into the carnival. That seems omin omin ominous. <laughs> what do you think, gang? Chip, I think you might be right. That's a b -b 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 bad idea. I promise it'll be fair priced, and it's random. I won't even know what it is. Well, gang, I don't have five bucks of United States currency, do I'm you? I'm saying, what if we li is lied and steeled? I like it. Nothing bad's ever come out of making a pact with a strange man in a weird fog. Oh, so it's I'm not in. with me, it's with the ticket. And he holds up this golden ticket. It's small, like movie theater golden ticket. And on it, you can see the carnival moving just inside We're the ticket. We're gonna have fun. Okay, that all right. I, I shake the ticket. No, hand. as soon as you take the ticket, the pact is made and the ticket is yours. Gil, do I know Gil, what I lose? Gillian? No. Nope. I don't have five dollars. What am I gonna do? So I take the ticket. All right, roll the 1d8. I want one of those. Well, then you better give up your fucking. I'm gonna die now. Six. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to I'm know. terrified. He offers two other tickets, or three. If Felipe goes, oh, what, what the fuck? <laughs> Takes it. You're si you say I won't know what it's gone. Oh boy. Count me in. Gillian. I yes. don't think this is My, my, my mouth is gone. Yeah, my face disappears. You suddenly feel the urge. Like you must. Every tree you meet from now on, you have to greet it with reverence. Every single tree. <laughs> oh, fuck. I took the ticket. Okay, roll a 1d8. I rolled an 8, by the way. I already rolled it. <laughs> you must declare your love for unicorns at every opportunity. Oh, God. When, the Gillian, when did Gillian, they write Gillian, this Gillian, fucking Gillian, stupid Gillian, module? Gillian, 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 yes. Gillian, 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 yes. Gillian. I love unicorns. They're my favorite thing ever. Have you seen them? That's so sparkly and real. Have you even what ever seen one? Happen? I walk up to the Shit, nearest tree. Why are you talking about unicorns? Chip, I love unicorns. Jay, can you shut the fuck up about <laughs> unicorns? I walk up to the nearest Gillian. tree. <laughs> I love unicorns. <laughs> and I turn to the nearest tree, which is a great segue for me to tell you that I love you. And I hold onto the trunk and I start uh, touching the bark and like nibbling on the bark. I believe in you. <laughs> when Felipe takes the ticket, Chip, you see the ticket, uh, a small pumpkin appear in his hand. Oh, word, man. Cool. <laughs> Surely you don't want to be here alone without your friends. What if you gave me a ticket for free? All right. I mean, someone did buy you a ticket. He pulls out this box. It's like a wooden box, small wooden box to open it. So you see three tickets inside. He pulls out one. Here you go. Sweet. Thanks. They like to remain anonymous. Uh, okay. Did, can you tell me anything about them? Nope. Have <laughs> fun at the carnival. Each ticket is good for eight punches. And, uh... Here's our customary map. Whoa, we get a map? Get and a map, why does baby? it look like it's set in a fucking forest? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Hello there. Hello there. I love you. Okay, just don't turn it over. This is the only side that you're allowed to look at right now. Okay. Wow. Oh, looks like there's some trees by the ticket booth. Yeah. Uh, I climb them so I can better introduce myself to them. I get I get in their foliage. All right, what do you say? Uh, sorry. I've never seen a tree quite like you before. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What's up, Birch? <laughs> hey, man. Did it just talk to me? Yeah, you see the um, like the some of like some of the wood splinter and open up in its mouth, and then a nose pops out. <laughs> Yo! I just really wanted to say hi, but I think I'm oh. speaking of hi, I am so fucking right now. Yo! Yeah. Okay. Um. It's branch moves to salute. I salute. I Thanks. salute it back. Thanks. Can you tell your friends that I said hi? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll do that. Okay, I'm, I'll be on my way down now. Hey, Gil. See ya. What, yeah? are you, what are you doing in the tree? Hey, Chip, don't worry about that. Greeting it with reverence. Don't like worry about I that. Don't worry about that. Always have. Chip, don't worry about it. You want to go see some unicorns? <laughs> <laughs> no. What is wrong with you guys? Oh man, this is crazy. But look over there. And he like points down the way as you guys pass through the ticket booth, and you also see that that musical instrument, the Calliope, on wheels. As soon as you're walking in, you can hear it throughout the entire carnival. It's very, very fun, very whimsical. Uh, and then, of course, right in front of you, you see that 
big, the biggest tent in this entire uh, fairground. It is that that tent that swoops with three peaks uh, towards the sky, with topped with three golden spinning stars. And um, you can see that on the sides of the tent as well. It whirls with colorful motion. Where do you guys want to go first? What's our oh, destiny? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where the fuck are we? Why are we here, and why do you keep talking to trees? We died, we're in heaven, and because I need to. Let's go, Jay. Okay, okay, but that doesn't explain the unicorn. You said it, unicorn. What did you guys <laughs> lose from those tickets? Yes. I give him the most unhinged smile in the fucking world and say, Nothing. <laughs> it says right here, right, Cassus Carnival, dog. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Felipe. Oh, right, why yeah. are we at a carnival? Is this the Feywild? Look, I don't know really about this, man, but you, if you fell through a rift, we could be anywhere. This is the craziest tour of my life. So you guys run through that that sort of wooden archway into this uh, uh, more of a clearing of the fairground that is meant just for this section of the carousel, which is that circular wooden platform where you see uh, different s unique looking figures climb onto Unicorn's back and uh, you see a female centaur that uh, sets the ride into motion as they begin to do uh, the up and down uh, sort of ride of the unicorns and you can hear it's like sort of like music box music as well and uh as it starts moving you watch the unicorns go from this still wooden uh uh, uh carved out horse to shaking their heads and flooring their manes and like actually trotting in the uh, in the carousel itself jay oh, it shit. is your destiny to get out there and mount that steed I'm gonna cast guidance on Jay for whatever the fuck is. I'm I'm on the ride. I'm jumping on. You gotta wait in line. <sighs> Why, bitch? I mean, if you skip the line and jump on the ride while it's moving, you don't get your ticket punched. But okay, you can try. Okay, yeah. No, I need. I think I need to get my ticket punched. <sighs> as soon as, as you start rushing over to the side of the railing, you try to like jump over. You get stopped by the centaur woman who goes, uh, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! Wait a second! I mean, unicorns! Unicorns! This is unicorns! Just uh, uh, take it easy. I know you're excited and all that. Just um, just wait. Excited! In, excited! Doesn't even need to cover half of it. <laughs> okay, you're very excited. I'm ecstatic. I'm feral right well, now. I need, happy to have I you need, here. Uh, just give it to you one moment and the ride <laughs> not, will come. The, the, You'll get on. Words are, the... I don't hear your words. I just see the unicorns and that's all that matters. <laughs> hey, Chip and Trees, I'm worried about Jay. What's that big guy? <laughs> <laughs> the centaur lady you're you're looking at has like really beautiful like dark navy blue braided hair, a uh, flower in it as well. She's got like pale palish blue skin with like monarch butterfly wings and her... Her bottom half is a horse. It's painted, and she's wearing like gesture kind of outfit, like around the the, the main torso of the horse. Um, and uh, yeah, it just looks very Jay, very. Jay colorful. reluctantly gets in line at this point. Okay. She's your she's first in line. Like no one else. Like <laughs> no one else is there right now. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and punch your tickets. So we only get eight eight rides. Uh, every single attraction here, you have to punch your ticket to enter. Can I just use the cool, same okay. ride over and 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 and just uh, just just quickly, just quickly, just quickly. I like kind of pull her over. What the fuck is this carnival? Oh, not charmed by the magic, are we? No, I'm really confused though. It is exactly as it seems. You are in the uh, Cass's carnival, full of um, fairies. Yeah, yeah, pixies. yeah. Yeah, I I've gotten that far, but. I'm not really sure Your why. I think we were looking here. for the Feywild. Is that like around here? Yes, this is the Feywild. This is. Okay. I don't know any uh, other place. Well, we were originally looking for uh, someone to help us with our bird and not unicorns. I look over at Jay. <laughs> what does she look like right now? <laughs> she is giggling psychotically in the unicorns. It's like holding on the floor at once. <laughs> My friends are not normal, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I don't know anyone uh, to help with birds. You could always ask. Um, well, it's a, it's a, a po po polymer, poly polymer. If you, if you need bird help, you can ask Northwest. Uh, and if you look in your map, it'll say the dragonfly rides. Whoa, yeah. And over there... That's, she goes, oh, yeah, that's that's where Northwest will be. Mount your steed. What are you, what Mount are you? Mount your steed. What am I? I'm a human who made a very, very bad deal. Oh, oh, you made it. What was the deal? She gets in a little close. I made a deal with a hag. With a hag? A witch. Oh. She fused, I, I, I was missing my lost horse. And she, instead of helping me find... My horse, she fused me with it. Was the horse a unicorn? No, dear. 
She wasn't. Damn. Maybe, maybe we could uh, help you? I don't know how you could help. Well, I mean, we're going to turn a bird into like something that's not a bird. We could turn your horse half into... A horse. Oh, well, normal legs. And a horse. And a separate horse, perhaps. Or you just get a new horse. Well, these unicorns, she smiles at you, like to play a game. If you um, beat their game, perhaps they can help. A lot of us have been affected by um, what I mentioned, and I can't speak about it or I'll... Uh, I'll be harmed. Um, oh yeah, don't get harmed. That's probably not good. Like, we're sort of forced to secrecy. But listen, Why? listen, listen. Don't. If you're here to visit, don't trouble yourself with um, our uh, uh, external affairs. The carnival is meant to be for children and others who come to have fun, and that's what this will be. And then the ride slowly starts to stop. You see different people start to get off. Enjoy. Hey, ladies, I mentioned that I love unicorns. <laughs> You did. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. We'll get your horse out of you. <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, uh, uh, jump up on and um, look at the first horse that I see in the eyes and, 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 uh, and, and pull out my sword and get ready to fight it in combat, I guess, to the death because I don't know what game they play. So I square off against this horse, ready for it to I challenge me. Horse. But you don't, you don't attack it? No. Okay, both of you roll perception check. Okay. It plays a game. 15 plus 5, 21. 15. Okay. Easy enough. Both of you notice that these unicorns on the ride, they come in pairs. Okay. And on each of the pairs, there's one unicorn that has a name fully written out and another unicorn that has parts of the name, but some of the letters are scratched out. And on yours, you notice that it says fortune. Whereas the other unicorn, it says B, and then all the other letters are scratched out. And then for your unicorn, you read fall on your unicorn. Fall? But the other one is PR, and then everything else is scratched out. Are you looking? Sure. Easy enough. One of, your, one of, your, one of yours says stone on one of the unicorns, while the other one is M, and then a few letters are scratched out, and then it says S. It's actually M, scratched out letter, scratched out letter, and then S. So four letters total. And you also, at this point, need to get on the unicorns. You you know I'm on. I'm on it. There's one more pair of unicorns that is being rid by Felipe. And he goes, uh, this one's name is Stitch. But, What's uh, the other one's name, Lilo? No, no. I mean, it, it is four letters, but the third letter is N. Is N? Right. We could try Lilo. I don't know. Unicorn time. I slap the ass of mine. All right. It goes, Oh my god, it's fucking alive! What do you say? Holy shit! All right, Jay, we've got- No, 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 it's okay! You're riding a like, unicorn. It has like a pole right through its fucking midsection. Oh god! It's okay, we gotta be careful about this, okay? We need to be down to earth because pride always comes before the fall. You say that, the letters fill in magically, and you hear this sort of uh, uh, very enthusiastic whinny on your side. It likes that! And that, Why did it and like those, that? And those two horns of the unicorn start glowing. Fortune, fortune, fortune fears of the bolt. Those no, sorry, yo, they start glowing as well. I'm not good with word games, guys. Wait, I, I know that one. <laughs> you want a hint? Felipe, yeah, sure. Well, you. Yeah, okay, uh, persuade me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, come on, it's, it's me, it's uh, Chip. You want to help me out, right? Maybe. Felipe, I've got five Canadian dollars with your name on it right here. Yeah. 18. Oh, damn, those are both good. Um, what, uh, what starts to grow on stone? Moss. Ding, ding, ding! And then the, the two unicorns, <laughs> like, light up. But I don't, I don't know mine at all, so, like, help me out, man. Well, the stitch thing is really cool. I don't yours. You bitches get mine. stitches. That's not four letters. Snitches so also right. get stitches. And yeah, put so it in true. the ditches, yeah, you know? I know that one pretty well. Whew. Oh, Felipe, why did you catch on fire? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, so it was, it was XXXN? It was two X's, then N, and then another X. All right, let's put our heads together on this. Whee! This is such a fun, fun, right. fun ride, fun time. Yeah. Felipe, this seems like a riddle for the chosen one in training. Uh, fuck, you're right, man. Um, this is your first test, probably. Uh, okay, I, I, think, I think it's like a stitch, uh, a stitch in time. Bum bum, you know? What the fuck is he talking about? A stitch about? in time. Turns into a... Mm, uh, fine, guy, nine. Nine? Is that, is that what you're saying? Final answer? Nine? They glow! 
Whoa! Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. A stitch in time saves nine. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It is something I've heard all the time, guys. I, I, so I hear much, that all man. the time. You know, I think it means if you sort out a problem immediately, it may save a lot of time. That makes sense, Felipe. Sure. I've, I've successfully fulfilled my my fixation on unicorns. Can I reward all the D8 for a different one? Yes, You're a actually, psycho. You can. <laughs> you can do it. I don't that's care. That's so fucking funny. A seven this time. Okay, that would mean that Gillian needs to re-roll. Wait, wait. Have I he... fulfilled my... Have you I done said, well? You said... Hell, yeah. Like, okay, cool. Much. I've, done, I've done well, haven't I? Give me a new charge. Two. <laughs> As this <laughs> happened, so you rolled a seven? Yeah. You have to compliment everyone you meet. Gillian. Yes, Jay? Have I ever told you, A, I fucking hate unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> if, as soon as you say hi to all the trees, you a flower crown grows on your head, and you have to water it every hour without taking it off. But you're always I'm wet. I'm always <laughs> wet! I just shout that. <laughs> what? Gillian. Yes, Jay? You look so good today. You look so fantastic. Why are you excited? I feel like I don't tell you this enough. You look just wonderful Jay, what's today. what's wrong with you? Oh, shit. Come here. You. you. Yeah? You. What about me? <laughs> yeah, you. You're all right. Okay. That's like the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I'm going to open you up and see where Jay went. <laughs> As the ride is coming to a close, all the unicorns, as the horns are glowing, they speak into your minds individually. But first, the first one that hears something is Jay. You learn a secret here at Picasso's Carnival, that there are three hags, not in this domain, but they're secretly ruling over the carnival. And every so often, if you're not careful, something from you will be stolen. Can I ask, can I talk to the unicorn or does they just say something? To me? It says it's, there's whispering secrets in your mind. Just okay. yours, right now. Uh, you can say something if you want. Oh, I'm going to ask, can you make that lady horse a lady and a horse again, please? You get the feeling that they're, they're, that's not in their power, but the ones that could are those hags. And Ooh. you learn that one of their lairs is in a, is in a swamp. Oh, a lair? The other one is in a hollowed out tree. And the other one is a mountaintop theater. And Chip, in your mind, the secret you get whispered is that the entrance to their domain is somewhere hidden in the carnival. What the fuck is going on? Something dark is going on here. <laughs> I cut the unicorn's head off. <laughs> what? You do? I don't know. It's like evil, right? No. Well, who did I say that? Okay, can I sniff it? I'm going to sniff it first. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, it just told me where hags live, and she was cursed by hags. So it I'm told just... you secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait, I just sniff it. Does it smell like evil or anything? <laughs> it doesn't. Okay, I go to cut its head off, and then I give it a, a sweet little sniff. <sighs> okay. A, li a little scratch behind the ears on that Gilly, one. Gillian, I really like your flower crown. It's so pretty. So you're freaking me out. <laughs> also, thanks. I need to water it every hour or I'll die. Yeah, I mean, I know where hags live now. Did anyone else get something what? like that? No, the, yeah, the entrance is in the carnival somewhere. Yeah, uh, I was told that the three hags actually rule this domain from a different domain, oh. which is really interesting. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I guess where to where to next? So well, yeah. we can go we can go northwest and find I mean southeast and find northwest. Right, yeah. We could do that. Lady said that northwest is over here. We can ask them about I'm assuming northwest is a person, not okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. So yeah. maybe we'll run into Kanye. Dragonfly rides. Here we go. As you guys head in that direction, the first thing you see as you get close uh, to the dragonfly rides are these huge lily pads that rest on the surface of uh, a pool of uh, glistening you know bright blue water with this sort of like almost bioluminescence glow underneath and you see the same dragonflies with the streamers that you saw walking into the carnival resting on these landing uh these lily pads like landing platforms as they're like resting there they're buzzing like super loud um just excitedly waiting to be uh picking up new uh, passengers for the rides and dropping off the ones that were just on them and near the entrance as you guys are walking up the one who punches the tickets and stuff you see a smiling treant sapling oh uh, which is basically like you know uh, one of the tree people that you just talked to but very small like humanoid form with branches uh, for legs and arms and uh, they have uh, like golden streamers and different like, like jewelry hanging from the tree leaves and also a few acorns as well bust, uh, nestled within and uh, they have bright blue uh, monarch butterfly wings as well same as uh, same as the last person you met and as soon as you start walking uh, towards them they smile like really bright smile almost like Groot but in like a teenage form 
and they have bright blue eyes and they they wave you over they go oh hey come here come here come here are you like you want to try you want to ride the dragonflies well, yes golly, yes yes we do you are yeah. the most dapper tree i've ever seen hey i just want to tell you Miss Tree, that I used to have to greet trees with reverence because my special card told hey, me hey, to, hey, but hey, now hey, I'm just up, doing buddy, it back up, because back I appreciate up, you. Back up! Okay, and you I'm see sorry. This, this red squirrel that's right at us, like, like running on her tree branch legs. Whoa! And uh, she, like, plucks, plucks one of her acorns and just holds it in front of him but doesn't give it to him, and he's, like, automatically distracted. Oh, you gotta give that one to me! You gotta give that one to me! And she's like, hush now, little one! So, and it's like a weasel, weasel red squirrel kind of thing. And she looks at you guys. So you're not from here at all. I can tell. Tell me some stories. You have a rat. You want to you hear stories about our yes, place? Yes, yes. I, I love stories. Come I would on, love to tell me the story about, about what just happened to you. Okay. Please, uh, so, please, before you go, please yeah, tell me some course, stories. Of course, okay, okay. Um, and then I'll punch your one, ticket. Once upon a time mm -hmm. in a land called the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> not. What is the water. ocean? It's water, what? but a lot. Look at the. You see that lake over there? We have lakes and rivers. That big, 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 big everywhere. Wow. Deep, big. deep people. I live. I live down deeps. That's incredible. What do you do on this ocean? On the ocean, she's very we excitable. Have a ship. It's made of wood. It, it's a nice ship. <laughs> made of uh, completely ethical resources. From the earth. Or at least the things that grow on it. And we use it <laughs> to sail. And one day, sailing on this ocean, I got a curse and got horrible nightmares every single night. Imagine the worst horrors you've ever experienced attacking you in your sleep over and over and over and over and over again. And when you wake up, they were slightly real. If you're drowning in your dream, you're drowning in real life. If you're on fire, if you're falling apart, if you're turning to eyes and bones and sludge and dust, you are real yep. in real life. All because I pet a kitty one time. <laughs> this, uh, this one time I stole some lemons. She saw lemons. She looks at both of you, and she like the excitable, wondrous, childlike joy. She says, "That's spectacular! That sounds so amazing!" Yeah, this place is fucking crazy. And the the acorn that she's holding in front of the little weasel, she plants into the ground, and a small little tree sapling uh, sprouts up. Hey, what's up? Just roll with it, listener. How are you enjoying the episode so far? Going pretty good. Everything is going normal. Gillian is totally fine for now. I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys for just a minute about some cool stuff we've got going on. As you probably heard at the beginning of the episode, we've got a sweatshirt that just dropped. I need you guys to go get this sweatshirt. We've been working on this one for a long time. We really, really, really are happy with the design and the quality, and we think that you'll love it. And if you go get this sweatshirt right now, Think about the possibilities in the future. Think about all the things that we could make. We could give you just roll with it. Pants, underwear, socks, hats, shirts, everything. You name it. Think about the possibilities. If you don't want to get it, at least share it with other people so that they might get it. Even if they don't know what the Riptide Pirates are, the sweatshirt looks cool, man. It looks awesome. Come on. Buy one for your cousin. Buy one for your grandma. Buy one for your strange uncle. I think he would look a lot cooler in the sweatshirt. Go check out the store. We worked really hard on it. Go check out the website. We worked really hard on that, too. We hope you guys like everything we've got going on. And once you're done checking that out, make sure to head over to patreon.com slash just roll with it, where we've posted a cool one shot DM'd by yours truly, an independent story that you don't need to have any other context for. It starts and ends during your wee week. And if you've been watching the video version lately, you would have noticed a couple of wanted posters in the background. We've got those posted on Patreon over there. If you want to download them, cut off the edges and crumple them up for yourself and put them on your wall just like we did, you can. Thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate you and everything you guys do for us. So happy to be able to bring you some really cool stuff like this sweatshirt. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the episode. What about you? What are your stories? My stories? Well, where I am where I come from, I'm actually a little bit of a chosen one of a hero of the deep, champion of the undersea, right guys? Right guys? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eater of Ass, eat a ass, <laughs> and um. And I don't know what that means. That's fair. You don't want to. And I don't. And I don't eat anything else. There's no. 
I, I eat, I ate grass. How do you eat ass? I don't know how to eat ass. I actually beat ass and eat grass. I'm sorry. Among other things, but I like to go around and, uh, and, and help people because that's what I'm supposed to do because the moon told me to. You're like a cow. That, no, that's right. And I want everyone to suckle the milk of destiny from my, from my chosen udders. Is it? You have udders? I also lay eggs. Do you want one? Yes! He's Sweet. like a chicken, yeah. Oh! That was just a yolk. I think I need a little... Do you have any, like, calcium? I need calcium and fiber. I'm just... I'm just... It's just yolks right now. It's all yolks. People look over, like, a little, like, worried as they hear you screaming. In Northwest, it's just clapping. So what do you need? So, once upon a time... This bird is the bird is Apple here. Apple's yeah, Apple's I think on Jay's shoulder. This bird Apple has was, two pairs of wings now. Was not a bird. And now she is a bird. And we would like her to not be a bird again. Also, we're trying to help some of the people here and heard that someone named Northwest could help. That's me! I'm Whoa. Northwest! Cool. One day I'm gonna What's call your dad's up name? Kanye? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kanye is the biggest tree in the entire forest. Yeah? Big and thick. Is he big or does he just think he's that big? I think he's very big. Sorry, I genuinely just like fully after that, like <laughs> fully like so disassociated. spaced out and disassociated from this game. Um, <laughs> Yo, about your bird. That sounds like really powerful magic that would be back in Prismere. Prismere? Prismere is where I'm from. How do we get to Prismere? I don't know. Okay. Awesome. How did you get here from there? The, the owner of this carnival, Cass, saved me. Cass? Whenever Prismere was taken over by the, the hags. hags. You knew about the hags? The special horses told us. Oh, they don't like very many people. You're lucky. When you say Cass saved you, what do you mean? Well, um, as a small treant, it's a very long story. Are you sure you're ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Home team, ready to go. I have nothing better to do. We were in danger of being deforested when a swamp suddenly started to take over all of the lands. And the most powerful archfey, a sorceress who ruled that land, said anyone who can escape, leave. And I'm sure that she's doing fine now because she's the most powerful woman I've ever met. But Cass was there and he said, anyone who needs refuge, come to my carnival. And in a second, the carnival packed up and these traveling wagons and we dimension hopped, left that domain to a new one. And ever since then, I've been growing up here. Oh, cool. And you're, like, you're not in like a crazy secret pact to work here or anything like that? Mr. Cass loves everyone here. We're all one big family. I love it here. You're not like a woman who was really into gardening? Nope, I'm a treant. Sick. Can we ride your cool cool bugs? I'm not sick at all. You can, and she punches your ticket. And oh! your ticket, and your ticket. All right, enjoy. Is there any fun games that Dragonflies like to play? As soon as you walk past her, she flags down another set of like fair goers and immediately starts talking them up. Smiling, talking, asking for stories, and you guys head in to where the, the, uh, all the lily pads are, and you're able to walk across the lily pads and hop onto your own respective Dragonfly if you so desire. What do the dragonflies look like? The big, they're just huge, giant dragons. Yeah, like what colors are they? Uh, multicolored. Do they have names? Nope. I get on Garrus. Okay. I'm on Paris. All right. I'm on Paris? Yeah. The French All place? Right. <laughs> All right. Your dragonfly has a little mustache <laughs> and baguettes for wings. It's a bug snack. <laughs> <laughs> so your dragonflies, uh, their wings begin to and they start to hover off the lily pads and sway from left to right. And then suddenly, you hear panicked, like, rrr, rrr, like, like somebody like screams, and there's a little bit of an alarm. And then you see one of the fucking uh, dragonflies just abruptly in this abrupt chaos moment zoom past prematurely with one of their their riders on it. As you guys are getting buckled in, you notice that this rider, which is like a middle aged gnome with this really long pink, uh, uh, colorful beard with sparkles in it, is holding on to it as it takes off. And it looks like he's about to fall, but the, the dragonfly just freaks out, almost like a horse getting spooked, and goes flying forward. Oh shit! I'm gonna I'm gonna uh uh uh, uh kick mine and say giddy forward and try and get under him so I can catch him, I guess. Okay, animal handling check to see if you can control your dragonfly. I'm actually good at this. Not today. I'll get on the dragonfly and start trying to fly. I just, <laughs> you just ignore the the old man. 
Yeah. I got an 11. 11? Your, your dragonfly, as soon as you say giddy up or whatever in a hesitant voice, it doesn't listen to you and it just slowly hovers up and stays on pace with the other dragonflies. Okay. Is the guy is the guy falling? Now, at this moment, if, what, I give you guys a chance to do something. If I catch an old man, I catch an old man. Are you going to try and control the dragonfly to, to try and catch him? Yeah, sure. Then you have to roll animal handling. Yeah. Okay, I'll roll I... again because I did that before. Natural 20! Did you really? Natural Holy 20. shit, man. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh, then easy enough without your whatever you're going to do to assistance. Yeah. Okay, you come are, on. <laughs> come you, on now, France. You fly right under, and as soon as his, his grip slips on the spooked dragonfly, you catch him, and you put him safely under your dragonfly right in front of you. And he goes, <laughs> oh, that, that was crazy. Thank you. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I would like to I would like to try and race. You failed your animal handling. You I'm just done. You can't control it. Nope. I say that and I just... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're very lazily, slowly raising up very high above the, the grounds to do like kind of... Can like, I cast Gust of Wind on my dragonfly to like blast us forward? Like to like shoot it back so it can like ride the draft? I want to be behind on the other dragonfly and just get blasted in the face with wind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you can cast Gust of Wind. I'll roll to see if it messes up. That's a six. Oh! It starts to spin. <laughs> it starts to spin and tumble and, and start and like go down. Come on, we're losing it. I like fully flip upside down and start like helicoptering down. The back of the dragonfly catches on fire. Weirdly enough, as you guys are having these sort of moments, whenever you catch the uh, the gnome who was falling and then bring him to safety and continue your ride lazily around the, the 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 top of the the fair to look over and look at all the different locations and you start spinning like it, the mood seems to elevate like the music follows your pace of saving and it gets even more jolly and then as soon as you start losing control and moving up the dragonfly's path and it starts spinning out of control it goes back into that little same average tempo but eventually you uh you get back to level with them and your dragonfly though it looks really fucking flustered it stays up and you guys can enjoy enjoy your ride looking over this beautiful sight from above the fairground i just very calmly watched it all happen i'm like hey felipe you want to hop on yeah well oh cool oh great damn that's pretty up here i feel like felipe just being present should elevate the mood all the way i actually agree with that all the way the the, the fucking music is going crazy holy shit everyone's cheering <laughs> This uh, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, tip, tell me, tip. When was the last time you let your heart decide? A whole new world, world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us all where to go. Or say we're only dreaming a whole new world. Oh, you guys hear this? <laughs> like what you There's in the distance, it's like really world. quiet. I know it's it's like me and my dragonfly are both floating in the water because we've crashed and I'm like looking up and you can't tell <laughs> if my face is really wet or if I'm just like sobbing like tears. I'm like flying with Felipe, we're singing this, and I go, Hey Felipe. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna die here? It's possible. Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, but you know what we should do? What's up? We should try and, like, become one of the performers and get a lot of money. <gasps> That's my favorite idea ever. Word. We need disguises, yeah? I'm way ahead of you. I snap my fingers. Clown makeup. What about me? Uh, <laughs> well, we can find makeup for you. I can just do it like, like that. No, here's what I'm saying, all right? We go find okay. wherever they dress no. up all these wacky characters and we steal their outfits. We come back, we pretend to be part of the performance. That's awesome. We should fucking steal. I'm shutting the book. We should steal their shit and become part of them. You're kind of like a pirate. I am? Yeah. That's like the most pirate thing I've heard anybody say all day. This is the best day of my life. I'm the chosen one in training and I'm a pirate. My other pirate friends are over there flying dragonflies and saying hi to trees all the time. I think this is the start of something new. How does that song go? Living in my own world. Didn't understand. Don't fuck this up, Chip. That anything could happen when you take a chance. Dude, I didn't watch High School Musical. This is a problem. <laughs> the mood goes down. 
Um, it does. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you can't follow up with with Felipe singing, the mood of the carnival decreases. <laughs> Dude, I didn't watch the fucking movie. What do you want from me, bro? I literally grew up underwater, and I watched all of the High School Musical movies. All of your rides, land. Back at the lily pads, a bit disgruntled on, on Gillian's side. <laughs> and you enjoy your 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 flying, and uh, the gnome thanks you very much, shakes your hand. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you are so good looking Ooh. today. You look great. Oh, wow. Um, are you coming on to me? I, I don't know. Are you single? Are you seeing someone? I'm in love with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm in love with you. What is your name? Okay, you guys hear it. this. You got this. It doesn't matter what your name is. Wait here. I'm gonna go get a ring. And he runs off. We gotta run. We gotta run. We've been through this before. No, no I'm not. you can't run. You can't run. That's what Chip did, and it didn't work out. No, no, but I'm not actually marrying. The, I'm not married. This guy. Well, then you need to tell him how you feel. Okay, let's go to the Hall of Illusions so I can lose myself in a fake reality. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Felipe land majestically. Both together harmonizing. The start of something new. Oh man, dude, we really awesome. hit it off. We're like totally gonna get together, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna do the will they, won't they thing for a little while, though. What's that? It's like oh. a, it's like a oh, trope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just gotta like pretend like we like each other, but there's like a reason we can't. Yeah. Fuck off, man. Like, don't even talk to me, dude. He's no, the that's... chosen one in training. You're not good enough for him. <laughs> I'll never be good enough for the chosen one in training. Like that, pretty much. You guys make my whole life better, you know? What were you like doing before this? I was a, I was a young little guppy, a tadpole. How long ago is this? Uh, Felipe, how old are you? I'm, I'm, uh, I've been alive for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, I, I hate to break it to you. We already have a small boy that we keep on the fish. So that brand or on the ship. Fish? Sorry. But no, what I'm talking about, man. I'm a, are, I'm, I'm a are, man. I'm a man now. No, well, this, this the thing is, Man. we already have a small boy that we keep on the ship, but you're like a you're like a frog, right? I'm a man. I'm Chip, a man you're, Chip, you're fucking this up. You're fucking this up, Chip. We're called grungs, you racist. Frogs can't speak English, and well, actually, you can be the small grung that we keep on the ship. Common. I mean, grungs can't really speak very well either. I don't know what it is about them, but I can. That means I'm a man. I'm special. Where are we going? I'm thinking the Hall of Illusion. I kind of like the Hall of I'm Illusion. I'm with the Hall of Illusion. You guys want to go to the Hall of Illusion? Yeah, we don't even need to look at the yeah, sure. map. Uh, all right, so Hall of Illusions. All right, let's do it. As you guys step, you step up to the tent, the awning, the tent that that holds the Hall of the Illusions. First, before you get to the tent entrance, you see a, a sort of a, a a wooden mannequin that is grinning, almost like like cunning and cunningly, like just sly, the sly grin. Um, and it matches, it sort of almost matches like, like black owl feathers of a mane of hair. And it's also wearing like, like sorcerer witch robe attires. And at the top of the cabinet, you watch this halfling couple walk up holding hands, looking at the glass cabinet, or sorry, the, the glass cabinet that's holding the wooden mannequin. And you look at them, they see it. And then all of a sudden, the the sort of male halfling tor turns towards the uh, the the woman halfling, gets down on one knee, and you go as he starts to pull out this box, a ring. Oh, not again! Not again! Very similar to what he was coming back with, oh. but that he is actually going to this other woman halfling. And it, right as he opens it, you watch his sweetheart burst into laughter. She falls into the ground, clutching her stomach, and just starts rolling in laughter. And he looks absolutely mortified throws the box on the ground and runs directly into the Hall of Illusions tent. And she's just sitting there cackling. <laughs> she can't stop. She can't stop. Hey, miss, why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> you you walk up to her? Yeah. Okay, uh, roll, 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 roll with some saving throw. Uh, that's a, a eight. Eight? <laughs> One second. Yeah, eight, nine. I'm not close enough to Gillian. Do you walk with her? Or do you let I her go? I wouldn't have for this. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not yet. So you get hit by the by the Tasha's hideous laughter spell. So you have uncontrollable laughter. You're incapacitated. <laughs> 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 yeah, you just fall to the ground. I think we need to. I think we need to get after that guy and tell him that he's worth more. He deserves better. He does deserve better. Let's and go Jay, get him. If you two can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a tear going down her eye. She doesn't, she doesn't deserve him. No. It's just, it's complete control. 
you are controlled by the laughter that is uncontrollable. Um, I was gonna I was gonna run and chase after the guy. Go for because it. He's yeah, better go for it. Them. Yeah. Felipe Felipe walks over to Jay. What the fuck is so funny? Man, get up. Get up, Ed. Jesus, hey, 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 lady, lady. And he like picks up the ring. Jay, you're like spitting everywhere. <laughs> or he, he doesn't pick up the ring, sorry. I like slowly walk closer. Just roll of wisdom safe. Oh god. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> What? <laughs> Natural 20. Whoa! <laughs> You're good. No laughter. Hello? Jay? Jay Farron. Jay Farron. After about a minute or so, your laughter stops, as well as the woman. <laughs> oh, my, everything hurts. <laughs> Wait, when she's still laughing, I just want to go, well, are you, is something wrong? <laughs> Um, 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 all right, uh, stop, just stop laughing. Uh, okay, okay, you think about your dad and how terrible of a person he is and how mean he was to you for your entire life. Your sister, your sister's dead. Think about that, right? She's crying in the laughter. Right? Okay, uh, think about, think about how you lied to your only friends for so long. How could, a, how could like a sane person do that? Uh huh. What's, there's nothing funny about that. That's very serious. It's really serious, right, Jay? Yeah? <laughs> right? Jay? Gillian, as you run into the Hall of Illusions, you run past this figure uh, that kind of looks mimish, but he, he looks more like mon monochromatic in his color scheme, even with his skin and his hair. And he just like reaches out a hand, doesn't say a word. The second I see a mime, I draw my sword. Wait, you stop running into chase after the halfling and, and you stop? <laughs> I've been warned about people like you. You stay back. You stay back! I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run towards the halfling. Okay, yeah, he doesn't do anything, but after he, after you run away and you say that, uh, he, he kind of like draws a tear on his face and then looks sad and then just like turns back around and doesn't do anything. I just don't trust them. Okay. <laughs> they don't- As a collective? They, they just don't seem trustworthy. What are they doing in those boxes? I know, right? How are they doing that? There's nothing there. No, no, they're in there. They're in the box. Yeah, but how- But why? What are they doing in there? Why can't they get out? They made the box. So as you walk in, you rush into the uh, Hall of Illusions. You notice that the interior is completely lined by these very tall mirrors. However, as soon as you walk in, the closest mirror you see, describe what Gillian looks like as a child. Whoa, okay. So he's about 5'1". Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gillian as a child was kind of like a, like a scrawnier, shorter kid. It like took him a while to sort of um, to grow up. Um, he's got hair at about, it's like about the same length. It's a little shorter, but he's got like little stubs where the, where the coral is. Um, and you can see that he's got like sort of various kind of like, uh, uh, bruises and stuff on him. And he's wearing kind of like clothes and armor. That's a little too big for him. Um, but he looks pretty similar to how he does now, but he's just, you know, a mini, mini version of, <laughs> of Gillian. And he's holding, uh, a little plush. Little frog to puss. So roll, roll perception if you're looking for the halfling. I got a natural one. Um, you search for a hey, little guy minutes, <laughs> and you can't seem to find the the halfling. But you're mesmerized every as you walk deeper into the hall of illusions. You start to see. Am I a baby? You start to see yourself grow from a child as you walk deeper to a teenager to now. You keep going, and you're even older as an as a as an adult. Like what do I look like when I'm older? You tell me. Uh, like more sort of like ornate uh, kind of armor. You see, he's got like uh, like wrinkles around his like eyes and 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 face and stuff, and he's got like this sort of a uh, uh, beard oh, no. thing going. Yeah, like like facial hair going on, and his and his hair is like up in a man bun. Nice, dude. So uh, roll a second perception check. Uh, the two of you, after that laughing ass week paid, you would see the, the female halfling start walking up. She goes, oh dear, Ruben, Ruben. She's like yelling towards the tent. Hey, sorry that you left your boyfriend into a hall of illusions. I, I don't know what happened. I just, um, I, I, I goes uncontrollable, you know. Uncontrollable? Oh, my bad. I thought I was just laughing for the sake of- I didn't know, I thought you were stuck, you've been acting crazy. My poor Ruben, he probably thinks I laughed at him, he was- Ruben? Hey, it's okay, I'll marry oh. you instead. You're very uh, attractive. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm spoken for, I won't- I really want to say yes to him, but he's- We can go in and find him. I mean, our, our 
friend is already going in to find him, but the, we can like the mime starts to walk up to you guys, and he has a he has Hi. a whoa 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 he has buddy. a whole he has a whole bunch for your ticket. He has a whole bunch for your ticket. My friend Gillian told me about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you stay out of that box. God, mimes are hot, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Why? Explain that. You're so lucky I'm Explain not there. That with You're him so right lucky here. I'm not there. My uh, my friend Jay here finds you very attractive, and I'd like to really dissect that quickly, though. I'd like you to stamp my ticket. He pulls out a box similar to the one that the female halfling is holding, and this one is more decorated, and he flips it up, and he shows you a ring. Oh. So he basically starts to mime this sort of, like, he wanted to propose, but his voice was stolen, and now he can't. And his entire appearance, you notice, is completely black and white. There's no color to him at all. He just looks really sad. And he looks very reluctant to stamp your tickets, but he knows he has to. He punches your ticket for the Hall of Illusions. Thanks. What was your second perception, Gillian? And it was an eight. So you spend another minute, and you get even further. Now you're in your mid-60s. your mid Holy shit. So what does Gillian look like? In his mid-60s? That's how old, much older does he get? I think Triton live a while. Mm -hmm. um, he looks kind of the same, except he's got he's got more battle scars, and uh, his arm is a like a turns it is a gun <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah. For real? I don't know. <laughs> it's illusions. Oh. I was like, I could just describe him as older, but I was like, I want something cool. He's got a um, dude. You know what? He'll look a little more piratey. Maybe he's got an eye patch now. Whoa! Maybe he's got an eye patch. Maybe he's got a he's got like a, a a little like ice a shape water ice hook. That's so cool, man. That's what I'll do. Uh, but unfortunately, you don't find the small what halfling. The fuck happened in my sixties. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Chip, I'm going in now. I'm going in now as well. Yeah. The mood is now, by the way, dropped by one. When if you ran in there without punching your ticket. Fuck. So it's just going to be in the same place We're as neutral. you enter the carnival. Neutral. Yep. So you guys, what are you? Are you just walking through? Or are you also looking for the? I'm looking for Gillian. Okay, so you're just going to start walking through. Both of you describe what your characters look like as children. As you walk in and you see the tall mirror is lining the interior and you see your little kid selves. Yeah, so Jay is just like, she's wearing a little a little blue skirt with like a white skirt. Almost looks like a, a uniform for a school. Um, and she's got her, her hair kind of tied up and she has a little bow in there and she's carrying around this little doll uh, that she loves so dearly. She's like kind of hugging it in her arms like this as a child. Um... And that's basically what she looks like. Um, she's got like almost dress shoes on as well. So Chip would definitely have- This is actually before uh, he was nine. So before yeah. he was uh, yeah. on the show. So he would, he would have very, very long, like unkept hair um, and be very, very skinny, uh, like malnourished. Very bad, gotcha. And you would see his mirror and you would see hers in the stark contrast between well taken care of and not at all. You both notice it. Hey, who's hey. this little kid? Oh, you would you had oh. no idea. Yeah. Huh? Hey, that's me. I was a kid. Oh, it was so cute. Uh, that's oh. me as a kid. <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's just like trauma and stuff. <laughs> Chip's kid form looks like he's never eaten. <laughs> My God. Pretty much, yeah. You head down to what seems to be becoming the end of this. Um. This hall, as you notice, the your your figure starts to get older and older and even more and more sort of, you know, towards the end of your lifespan even, but sort of right before you see the exit or where you would emerge out of this, this tent, you do see that male halfling just as he's pulled into a mirror by a gray-skinned, ghoulish, small girl wearing a pig mask. Holy shit, what the fuck? Can I can I try and grab him or jump in after him or anything? As soon as you see him, he's gone. Holy shit, I'm gonna, okay. Don't worry, I'm coming. They don't deserve you and neither does she. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna run towards the mirror and I'm gonna full on like dive head first <laughs> into where I just saw him go. You basically walk over and as you do, you would see uh, a much older version of the same halfling holding that small ghoulish girl's hand walking into the distance and as you try and charge into it you almost like rubber bounce into it and they get flung back and you hear the like, that wobble of, of like a like a pain <laughs> uh uh oh and when you blink i mean they're gone it's your reflection and you're like a 200 year old man i double checked that i'm not super old now you're not okay cool but your reflection is very old 
Oh. Uh, and you guys, uh, for me, as you're walking through the Hall of Illusions, uh, roll or tell me what your you know middle aged look is going to be. Chip's middle aged form is definitely uh, um, a little more worn. He's got a, he's got a few more scars, some coming across the face. You can see one of the eyes isn't exactly what it used to be. It, it, it's got that like like faded look in it, like like you can't see out of it really. But there's no eye patch or anything like that. Um, the hair is is uh, very 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 long. Um, and, and kind of comes back into into like a like a I wouldn't say a ponytail behind, but kind of. Um, and 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 he uh, he has like a, a black coat. Does he still look haunted? Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, he looks more haunted. He looks like he's seen some shit. Oh, nice. Um, but he's still got the tattoos. They're just definitely more faded. Um, kind of kind of blend with the skin a little more, and 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 he's got like a very like unkept kind of, like i wouldn't say super patchy but it's not as full as it could be on his beard jay's dead i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> tombstone Blah. there is no reflection <laughs> no um jay is is wearing sort of like overalls that are actually tied around her waist she has like a white undershirt almost muscle shirt on um her leg is missing and it's now robotic uh yeah um her hair is also a little bit shorter. She had it cut down uh, a lot, so no more ponytail, but uh, that's like the gist of what you see, at least. You guys, on your first walk through the Hall of Illusions, you would again just see yourself and your reflection get older and older as you walk through, and eventually you'll find Gillian. In all your reflections, you're very old and decrepit. <laughs> no, Chase did in the last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror at Gillian instead of like, at him. Oh, hey, Gillian. It was my oh. destiny. Oh, it was your destiny. <laughs> like, like, oh, Jim, oh. it's been so long. Gillian, do you remember that time you blew up the moon? You remember oh. it's not what it used to be. Oh, I miss the ocean. Uh, what are you guys sure. doing? If only Jay were here to see it. Oh, poor Jay. <laughs> she died from that octopus. Felipe comes in. He looks the exact same. What the fuck? What the, what fuck, the fuck, Felipe? Felipe, you're so cool. Good to see you here at the wow, end. This is weird, bro. Why did I get older? I don't know. Maybe you're just mad. You've been alive for three days. You just though. built different. Built different, built indeed. Different. Yeah, three mm. days. Uh, did you guys find that guy or no? Oh shit. Uh, his his wife, fiance. He went. The lady he proposed Girlfriend, to. Girlfriend, soon to be fiance. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. That's why they were laughing. It was because of of magic. Oh, so she didn't actually reject him or anything? No. Oh, shit. Well, a, a, go? a girl with a pig mask came out of the mirror and grabbed him and pulled him in and he turned to 100. Ted, roll, roll persuasion. Fully man, I don't believe you. You know, my other friends don't make me roll persuasion. 23. Holy shit, man. I can't believe that. That's crazy. It's real. So if you guys can help me try and figure out hold how to on, get him out or on. something. Maybe the mime could help a, us. A, a person in a pig mask? Yes. Yeah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ever well, seen the no, Saw a, movies? Don't no, worry, no, I'm don't okay. Worry. I'm it okay was, on that. It was like a little girl. What? In a pig mask. So totally not creepy at all. I pull out the map. <laughs> Pixie Kingdom looks awesome. <laughs> I actually agree, bro. Yeah, Felipe, you want to go to Pixie Kingdom? We yeah. can just leave this man in the mirror. What? We got to bring it to his, you know. A little girl in a pig mask. Yes reached out of the mirror and pulled him in. Right. Maybe if you try something tricky, you can get her to come back. Like, say I'm, I'm old and I'm ready to I die. Want, so I want the little girl in the pig mask yes. to come and find me. Yes, exactly. Felipe, let's go to the Pixie Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little girl in pig mask, do you want to play? That's the that's the energy we need. They totally the are going to die. Pretzel's cute. Kids like pretzel. Kids that's love pretzel. true. You kids do love pretzel. Look! Look, little frog. To you just look and it's an empty bowl. Ah! <laughs> both, both of you roll wisdom saving throws. Okay. At disadvantage. Oh. We both do have a plus four, but also that's bad. Fuck. A two and a three. Oh well, that's not good for you. <clears throat> I got a seventeen. I got to let pull out the mirror. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. This is genius. Both of you now roll a d8. Five. Six. <laughs> for about a minute. Both of you. Feel yourself stunned, but it almost seems to pass instantaneously as you blink, your vision blurs for a moment, and everything sort of distorts, as if you're falling over slowly, but then you blink and you're standing straight back up. I'm worried. 
I'm gonna die. I don't like this carnival anymore. I'm gonna fucking die. You're holding the mirror, and you see in the reflection a ghoulish girl in a pig mask. Uh-oh. But as you blink, she's gone. And now you see yourself. You feel like you just lost something. Gillian. Yes. You are now holding an empty tank. No. Very, very, very visually noticeable. Uh, Jay. Uh, uh, uh. Please tell me pretzels in the mirror. I look in the mirror. Is pretzel in the mirror? She is not in the mirror. Okay. Um. Okay. So remember how we were told that if we're not careful, the hags might steal something? Well, I know where they live. <laughs> Let's go kill some fucking hacks. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the session today. <laughs> right oh, on. Fuck. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Felipe, this is a really good churro. Oh, yeah. I got cotton candy, actually. You got cotton candy? Yeah. Can I try some? Yeah, you just kind of, you actually can slurp this one up. Ooh. You turns- guys are talking about snacks and you just Ooh. hear pretzel. I could go for a pretzel. <laughs> With butter or cinnamon pretzel. Cinnamon pretzel. Cinnamon pretzel. Oh, hell yeah, man. Let's go. Bop to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Bop to the top. Yeah. All right, no. guys. Uh, start- I hope you enjoyed that nope. session. Didn't. And I, uh, we'll get back to this I didn't tomorrow. Enjoy it. We can get back to it tonight. <laughs> oh fun. man thank you for listening thank you for watching that was fun thank you yeah, for bye money bye. and stuff yeah 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 thank you guys see ya next week where the mood of this carnival will not be going up <laughs> <laughs> yo what's up everyone hope you enjoyed that episode and are enjoying all the jerwi week content from this one there's about two episodes or so left before we'll be back over discord and trust me you ain't seen nothing yet Last reminder to everyone that our first limited time merch drop is now at jrwishop.com. Once those sweaters are gone, baby, they're gone. However, another way to support us is our Patreon. And now I'll take the time to thank some of our patrons of our highest tier. Patrons, if you think your name should be here, but it isn't, make sure you have the high roller tier selected so I don't miss your name next time. Huge thanks to O'Karaker Barros. Did someone say Colin? I'm butt flusting. Agar Steeljaw, Beans, Walfi, Jaden Grant, Pippin the Oracle, Just underscore Gherkin, Mega Psionix, Tane Lambert the Snazzius, Sweet Cacti, Baca 7, Cows, The Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Fly Guy, Amber Curry, I See Sharky, Man Made LMP, Mage W, Your Personal Jester, Jordan Darlin, Red Sus Over Paradise, Sleepy Wither, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Clever Everest, Rakate, Cab Senpai, Figuratively Speaking, Finn Rua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Grand Archer, Riker Tizen, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Robins, Netvin, Deathclaw, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, Cheshire, Blue Blam Blop, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Neo Draconis Stewart, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Teddy Love Bites, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornier Comet, Jumpy is Venus 34, Your Envy Pow Vow, Riker Kurotu, Nonzalotl, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and finally, J Noel. Thank you guys for supporting us on Patreon, and thank you to all of you who are, who are supporting the show and watching the episodes, and thank you guys so much for all everything. Like, oh, God, it's fucking crazy. All right, uh, enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you again on Friday, hopefully Friday the 24th.